This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks. In this video, I am going to show you 5 motion graphic techniques that are going to help you to improve your motion graphics composition. All the techniques that I will be sharing today are super helpful so make sure you watch the video till the end so you don't miss out any of them. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and if you are watching my video for the very first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and here I have our first example. So first I have added a background layer with a new solid and then we have our text. Now our text looks very flat for this design. So in order to add some more depth to this, what I'm going to do is create a mask. But Before that, if I select the text and go into effects and presets, you can see I have added a transform with a skew of minus five. So if I turn that off, this is our original text so let's turn this off as well now i'm going to select the first text select the rectangle tool and let's create a big mask just like so and then basically i'm going to hit f on my keyboard and increase the mask feather and you can see we can get this really nice look and if i want to adjust it i can select the points and using my arrow keys I can just adjust it like so and I can also play around with the feather so I can set this up to around 60 and let's move this a bit up boom there we go and then I can turn on the skew and boom there we go there we get a very nice and depth to our text same way I can select the mask hit ctrl c to copy it select the second text hit ctrl v to paste that up and turn on the transform now I can adjust the position so I can simply select it and move this a bit. And now you can see we have a very nice looking text design and we can even animate this. So what I can do is now I cannot animate this using simple position because if I select the text and hit P and if I adjust the position the mask is gonna move along with the text so we don't want that. So what we will do is click on the small arrow and then right here in the animate section I'm going to add another position property. So using this I can move this just like so. Really cool right. I can create a keyframe on the position move this keyframe at the start and then set this to 0 and boom there we have a cool text animation. Same way I can select the animator 1 hit ctrl c to copy it and paste it on the second text hit ctrl v and now we have this very nice reveal i can even add a bit of displacement i can also select the text layers hit u so we can see the keyframes select those keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag them to the left holding shift just like so and now if I preview this, we have a very nice text animation in just a few clicks. Now let's take a look at our second example. So right here, I have a simple solid layer. I have a simple text and on that we have another text. So in order to highlight and again in this design, I'm going to add some more depth. So basically right now it looks very, very flat. So I'm going to select the text, right click, go into layer styles and add a drop shadow, right? Then I'm going to go into the drop shadow properties, pick whip the background color just like so, set the opacity all the way up to 100 and then increase the size to around 120 and noise to around 5%. Now we can play around with the color so let's tweak this a bit so we get a bit more bluish tint and now you can see right off the bat we have added this nice drop shadow but now i'm going to change the text color to the background and there we go there we get a very nice separation i can even increase the drop shadow intensity if i want to and boom there we have a nice separation now i can add my first text and now you can see it looks much more appealing and looks really really cool now obviously you can take another color if you want to if i want i can just set this to a 
kind of an off white color which looks nicer and basically now we can go ahead and animate this so to animate it i'm going to set the time indicator at the very start let's add a position property to our first text so i'm going to add um, position and also i'm going to click on this add icon go into property and add an opacity let's set the position down a little bit like around 50 set the opacity to zero let's go into the range selector now let's create a keyframe on the offset go to one second and set this to 100 and now we have this very interesting animation but to make it look even more cooler i'm going to set the offset at minus 100 go into the advanced properties let's set the shape to ramp up and increase the ease high and ease low all the way up to 100 and now we have this very nice text animation let's also animate our background text that is creativity so i'm gonna go right here into our second text and let's animate the opacity of the blend mode so i'm gonna create a keyframe on the opacity go at the very start and set this to zero all right so now we have this nice separation looks very nice and for the text color i'm gonna go with the background color so it looks like it appears from the background as you can see so i can move this text a bit forward maybe at one second and now we have this text reveal and then our main text pretty simple and easy now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor storyblocks Saving time is an essential part of our creative process and that's also where our sponsor Storyblocks comes in. Storyblocks is an ever-growing library of 1 million high-quality stock assets including stock footages, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, music, images, sound effects and more. They offer high-quality 4K clips but also things like motion graphic backgrounds, overlays, high-quality animations and so much more. All the assets are royalty free so you can use your downloaded content anywhere for commercial and personal use. Storyblocks offers affordable subscription plan and a new video editing tool called Maker that scales up to meet your needs. I use Storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan I can download unlimited assets and I only have to pay one single price per year. So go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description down below. Now let's take a look at our third example. So here I have added a new solid on which I have a gradient. I'm going to delete this fill. So we have a simple gradient of yellow and orange. And then I have a simple shape which consists of just stroke and no fill. So I have set the fill to basically I've set the fill to none. And just a stroke of 300 pixels and then finally we have our text on this so let's create a nice design for this so what i'm going to do is make sure i'm going to select the circle that we have i'm going to add the same gradient on this circle so it blends in with the background so we can basically just copy paste any gradient that we will add to our background just copy paste it then i'm going to right click go into layer styles and add an inner shadow then let's go into the inner shadow for the color i'm going to pick with a mid color range like an orange because we have a yellow on the top and orange at the bottom so i'm going to pick with from the center let's set the distance to 60 and the size to around 75 and now you can see we have kind of a cutout it looks like we have a cutout in our background but right now as you can see in this section it blends in with the background so in order to create a separation i'm gonna select the layer again right click go into layer style and add a bevel and emboss and boom there we go there we have added a nice highlight and you can see it adds a very nice depth as well as a nice cutout effect for our background which looks really really cool now the best part is that you can use this same technique with any text or any shape that you want so basically i can also animate this if i want to so i can go into add and let's add a trim path and let's animate this so i'll, I'll go at the very start set the end property to zero create a keyframe on the end and the offset go to around one second 20 frames let's set the end property all the way up to 100 and set the offset to 90 
and I'm going to also animate the stroke. So I'll go into the stroke property, create a keyframe on the stroke width, go at the very start and let's set this to around 50. Now I'll select the layer, hit U so we can see just the keyframes. Select those keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor and let's move this point to the left. So we have a really nice animation and you know you can actually duplicate this and create number of different shapes like I, like I can duplicate this and maybe I can move this right here and you know the possibilities are endless I can create a really interesting look basically so that's that now let's jump on to the fourth technique so I'm going to jump into the fourth composition here I have a simple background again and here I have a simple coat now whenever you are trying to create an animation where you are where you want to present a quote maybe or something with an information you can you know simply create a simple text animation but you can also create shapes to add a supporting element to your complete composition so that is what we will be doing here so i'm going to select the rectangle tool and i'm going to set the fill to something like anything something like a gray color for now and let's create a square like so I'll go into the rectangle properties, rectangle path one, and let's increase the size to around 2000. Hit R to rotate it and let's rotate it a bit. I'm going to place the anchor point in the center for now. So I'll, con I'll hold control and double click on the pan behind tool. Let's place this something like so. Let's put this behind our text so we can see it. So we have something like that. And then let's go into the shape properties rectangle one and rectangle path one and let's add a little bit of roundness so something like this looks good now i'm going to add some nice color to this so i'll go into the fill and i'm going to use this nice green color that i have you can use any color that you want for the rotation maybe i'll rotate this a bit more to around minus seven looks good all right then i can duplicate this hit control d to duplicate it and now what i'm going to do is turn on the snapping select the pan behind tool and move the anchor point to this corner and it's going to snap in for both of these shapes that we have like that and now i can select the first one again hit s to scale up this a bit and let's change this color a bit so i'm going to give it a lighter shade like so and then also i'm going to rotate this a bit more like this and let's change the position like so now i can turn off the snapping adjust it according to the way i want and now you can see we have added the shapes that will complement our text so let's go ahead and animate this now so i'll go to two seconds select both these shapes hit r to bring down the rotation properties create a keyframe on the rotation hit p for position create a keyframe there hit u so we can see both of these keyframes go back i'll bring them down just like so all right and let's rotate them a bit so basically we have a nice and simple animation as you can see i'll select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph right click and select edit speed graph select the point and move the handle to the left like so so now we have a very nice animation but now again i want to create a little bit of displacement here so what i can do is move this layer a bit and now you can see we have this very nice and subtle animation now let's also go ahead and animate our text as well so i'm going to select the text let's close them up go into animate and add position and add a property of opacity bring down the position a bit like so and opacity to zero go into the range selector and now i can animate the offset again so set the offset to 100 create a keyframe go back maybe around 20 frames and set this to minus 100 i'll go into the advanced properties set this to ramp up increase the ease high and ease low but this time i'm going to change the based on from characters to words so we have something like this pretty cool and there we have a really nice animation for our code now let's take a look at our final technique so let's jump into the fifth composition here i have a simple background a simple image a simple text all right 
Now the idea here is to reveal our images using text and use this text as a shape element for our complete composition. So I'm going to select our main text that is keep it simple. I'm going to hit control D to duplicate it. Let's increase the size all the way up and let's pull this down just like so. I'm going to keep it somewhere around there maybe. And also let's change this to Helvetica extra bold. You can use of course any font that you want. I think it's a bit too big. So let's bring that down a little. All right. So that is looking good. Now what I'm going to do is let's change the first of all color to a different color. So we know that it's a different text and I'm going to rename this to mask. Put this on the top of our image. So here I have my image composition. Change the track mat of that image to alpha mat and boom there we go pretty sweet now let's go ahead and animate this as well so i'll go to around one second and 20 frames select the mask layer and the image that we have hit p create a keyframe on the position go back let's pull this out all the way out of our frame and let's move the image a little bit so this will help us to create kind of a parallax effect a little bit of parallax basically so here boom as you can see it looks very very nice maybe i'll increase the timing a bit so let's move this to around two second 10 frames and you can see it looks so subtle and looks very very nice now you can use a number of different um, shape elements text elements and use this technique to create a very nice composition now instead of adding just this two simple text you can you know add an extra element you can change the image and do number of different things so those were the five motion graphic techniques that i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to do let me know in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out